We are headed to the Sam's Club meat department. I'm gonna show you five ways that you can save money at the meat department at Sam's Club. With prices going up and up and up, it's more important than ever that we, when we head to the meat department, that we can save a little bit of money here and a little bit of money there, increase our quality and decrease our bill. Let's get in the car, let's head to Sam's Club, let's go. are getting harder and harder to find they're raising a little bit of their prices even since i started doing my videos i've noticed that the prices have steadily gone up a little bit so it's more important than ever that we really scan the entire store and you can get good deals still the prices across the board are all going up i still found a couple of deals in there that were hiding and you got to know what you're looking for and I'm gonna show them to you when we get back. If you wanna save money, it's gonna take a little bit extra time, a little extra know-how, but here, we're gonna break these down at home. Safety first, remember that. Always wear a seatbelt. PSA from the Butcher Wizard. Let's go. I guess another PSA would not to be filming while you're driving, but you know, hey, whatever. <laughs> So we're gonna start with deal number one. You know this is one of my favorites, the porterhouse. The difference between the porterhouse and the T-bone is the size of the filet. There's a strip on one side, there's a filet on the other. The bigger the filet, now it's a porterhouse. Well, Sam's, they just categorize everything as T-bones. So you get it for a cheaper price because a porterhouse should be much more expensive than a T-bone. These are both in the same package, but this was a great representation of the differences between a porterhouse and a T-bone. So they both come from the same strip loin, but as they cut down the strip loin, filet part gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So the first cuts will get a nice big filet like, that, like this one right here. That is called a porterhouse. And as you get down to where the filet is very small, this is a T-bone. So that is the difference. The bigger the filet, it's a porterhouse. This, when you get to the small filet, it is a T-bone. This was $13.48 a pound. If you checked out one of my previous videos, you'll see that it was like almost like 11, it was about $11 a pound. That was a couple of months ago. It's already going up a couple of dollars. Dig if you want the deals, let's go. Deal number two is about salmon. Now you will find that when you go to Sam's Club that you can get wild caught sockeye salmon for $11.98 per pound. Also, you can get farmed Atlantic salmon for $11.98 per pound. I've done a video before where I talked about salmon, but you want to go for the wild caught sockeye more than the farm raised Atlantic salmon. I find that the sockeye salmon is more dense. It has a more salmony flavor without being overly fishy like you can with some of the Atlantic farm raised salmon. Let's go to the next one. In my opinion, I think the best deals in the whole meat department come from the pork area, the pork section. You'll find the best deals as far as protein per dollar. That's where the money is at. So what we have here are pork tenderloins. These come in at $2.98 per pound. So great value and they're super tender and I love to make them for my family. Let's go ahead and open one up. I'm gonna show you how to, how to clean it because there's a little bit of cleaning that needs to happen. All right, so here's our pork tenderloin. Now, for those of you who saw my beef tenderloin video, it's very similar, just a lot smaller. So it has a little bit of silver skin right here that we need to deal with. So what we're gonna do is take it and then just same, same way, we're gonna take it and slide underneath that silver skin, go ahead and go out like that, use that as a handle and come back the other way, okay? And take out that silver skin. This is a great way to practice some of your knife skills in this, so you're not doing it on a very expensive beef tenderloin. We're just gonna go ahead and clean it up. We're all the way done, it's done right here. We can season this up, we can put it on the grill. It's beautiful, just smoked or grilled, and then you cut it up into little pieces and you slice it up. My family loves pork tenderloins. Deal number four, we're gonna talk about briskets. Now, at Sam's, you can get a choice brisket for $3.98 per pound. And right next to it, you can get a prime brisket 
for $4.48 a pound. So what you're telling me is for an extra 50 cents a pound, I can go from choice to prime. The differences, of course, are prime is going to have more intermuscular fat and a higher quality meat. In my eyes, go ahead and spend the extra 50 cents per pound and go get you a prime brisket. Let's go to the next one. Deal number five. So I picked up these prime top sirloins. As the prices of meat keep going up, we might need a downgrade for our daily steak, for maybe a steak during the week. It's not a special occasion. So you don't want to get a filet or a strip or something. Go with a top sirloin. If you're going to save the money by downgrading your steak, upgrade your quality. We can go ahead and get this prime sirloin for $11.98 a pound. The interesting part is only $1 more expensive than getting the choice top sirloin. So let's take our sirloins out of the package, take a closer look at them. Again, we're talking about $11.98 a pound for these nice sirloins here. You can trim up a little bit of the edges if you want. Great for the grill, season them up. If you like to save money, go check out my other video about how to save money at Costco. Click right here, take you to that one. See you next time.